How do you do? Uh, I'm Graham Murphy, your product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Mega MWA. Now this is a TTR tester. It does um, turns ratio testing and resistance testing on transformers. Okay, the kit comes in rather a large case. We've got the instrument here and we've got all of the necessary cables in this bag. Okay, this is the transformer we're going to test today. It's a, uh, it has, you can see we've got a, a delta output. We've got a three phase input. Uh, here it's been cabled. Um, and here are all the specs about it. It's uh, 415 in uh, primary, um, secondary is 190.5 volts, year of manufacture, serial number, etc. Everything we need here, it's 7.5 kV. All of that is on the label here. That's all the information we need. Okay, I've connected power. I've plugged in a, uh, a mouse to it. This is the earth connection, and these are all the high voltage connections. And this is the sort of the high side of the transformer, and there's the low side of the transformer connections. Now I'm just going to turn the instrument on. This is with the on-off switch. Now the PC will boot up. Okay, so we now these are the header parts of the cable. So I'm going to connect now this um, initially this here uh, we plug it in and we do a half turn and lock that in place now this is the high these are all the high voltage connections the primary side now here's the secondary side now can lock this in all right that's locked in okay here are the cables now you'll notice this cable red here red there indicates that it is the um it's the high voltage so it's the primary side there's the color the yellow here and there's the color there now in this instance the um we connect the yellow wire is not yellow the yellow wire happens to be the white connection so i'm going to plug this up here and bring the yellow wire and put that on white there that's the my oh sorry put it on white here here's my primary side so we've connected that up and we continue on get the next one this is red so we'll connect the red wire here All right plug it up there Yeah, we need to get the next one, which is blue. There's primary side, color blue. Now we're not using, the white is neutral. We're not using white because it's a delta here on the input. So now I'll connect the blue. Right, we've got a good connection. Now these are Kelvin clips, so in other words, both sides of these have to be connected for this to operate. Okay, now we've got our earth here. I haven't yet connected the earth, I will in a second. Now we'll do the secondary side. Now, here we take the first wire here. This one is blue, so we go blue here, blue, and we connect blue connection here don't worry it will tell you if you do one of these wrong nothing will work properly now this is yellow so this is actually our white connection so I'll plug this into yellow here yellow is white in this instance now Next one here is our red phase. Plug that in there. Connect our red. Nice tight connection. Now, last one here. Here is white. Now this is our neutral connection. Okay, so it's the neutral. White is neutral. That's very important. It's actually written on the cable here. White is neutral, so here's our neutral connection here. And the last cable, which I take from the instrument, plug up here. 
is the earth connection over there. Right, so now we have got it wired up. Okay, we've turned the instrument on and it's booted. We select our turns ratio and winding resistance and we've got our, all of our wiring done. Okay, um, one of the things is that uh, there are a couple of things. I'll just go quickly through this menu. You can turn on and off this header if you wish. If you uncheck that, the header will disappear. You could add, add your company logo over there if you want to. All right, come down here. You'll notice that the, okay, we've got the turns ratio test is being shown here. That's where our, how we start a turns ratio test. And here's how we start a resistance test. If this turns ratio test isn't doesn't happen to be displayed you've got to click on settings and general test oh sorry display sections and make sure one of these is checked correctly it may not they may be unchecked in some instances they're unchecked so that's just watch out for that one if you can't see turns ratio test okay so we're going to enter our basic information in here um, we know that the primary voltage is 415, There's, that's straight from the nameplate. The secondary is uh, 190.5, again from the nameplate, KVA, uh, 7.5 KVA. And that gives us 110 volt, number of taps will be 1. Right, now let's reset that and we just check We've got our resistance. Now changing that, ah, that's what it does it. It's changing the number of taps actually makes the, um, the, the transformer the TTR ratio testing disappear. So I'm just gonna click on here again, bring this up and I want to turn that on. Okay, so now we've got our there's our turns ratio testing and here's our resistance testing. Now before we start testing though, what we've got to do is confirm that we've wired it correctly. So I'm going to click on here and this will run through a process to confirm that we've actually correctly wired it. it takes a couple of minutes. Now it's really important. Um, I found it the, with this transformer we actually found that it had been uh, internally wired incorrectly. So here we go. Now we know the fact that it's the low side of the transformer has a neutral. So we tell it that it's got a neutral. The name plate again has the fact that it's DY. And so we will now confirm that we've wired it, that it's all working properly and everything's wired correctly. So I'm gonna go detect. Now it'll run through a process with the TTR. It'll take a couple of minutes and prove the, the, the everything is wired up correctly. Okay, after a minute or so, it's come back that the configuration is DYN1, which is correct. So I'm going to click done, and it will say, well, do you want me to sign as a DYN1? I go, yes. So now we can move down to here, whereby we've got a turns ratio test. So I'm going to click on here, and it calculates what the input and output, uh, the angle, the um, percentage should be for each of the phases, and uh, away it goes from there, automatically starts testing. If you have multiple taps, of course, you can test the multiple taps. Now, the first thing here, um, that's the calculator angle, is uh, three, uh, the calculated percentage is 3.7831, and the actual one found is 3.7353. test is completed. In this instance we'd probably plug a memory stick in here and save it to the memory stick. In this instance I'm just going to save it to the desktop. It'll come back to me in a second. There are the readings there and I'll just save it here. Uh, replace it. Yes, thank you. So here are our readings. Now we'll come down here and we'll now do the resistance test. So I'll click on here and we'll start the um, Doing, start doing the resistance test. It's the MTO function. All right. Now this test doesn't start automatically. Um, you want to enable automatic data recording. Now it's 
um, connecting to the, um, the computer is connecting to the MWA and uh, now we click start and the whole process now runs automatically measuring the resistance. We could have set a different test current here if we had wanted. It's completed the first test, 59.43 milliohms. The second one is 58.89 milliohms. Fifty-nine point four three milliohms. Right. Test is completed. We can click on save the result. It's waiting for discharge. Saving the results. Oh, click on finish. This is doing that anyway. Okay, so here we are. Here's the readings. We can print the results if we wish. We can save this to a uh, memory stick. Very simple instrument to use. It uh, makes testing transformers quite easy. Okay, the only other thing about this instrument is the fact that when you're finished with it, you need to shut it down. So I'm just going to close this software and here's our off button here and that will shut the instrument down because it is a PC so it needs to be closed down correctly. The Mega uh, MWA330. Thank you very much.